Good morning guys and welcome along to part two of our uh, little cooking series here with uh, Onuma and Paul. And in today's video, we are going to be making Massaman. Now, the ingredients are all listed uh, before the video starts. There's one or two ingredients that would be nice to have if you could get them. Now, I'm going to leave links in the description uh, below to obviously Lobo. Now, this is the, the brand that you really should be using. If you can't get this, if Amazon are out of it, then by all means use my Mayploy or MyPloy. But these are the these are the ones that I use here. So we have Lobo Penang, which we didn't have the last time when we made the Penang. <laughs> the green curry, the yellow curry, the red curry, and the strange thing is the Masterman, which we don't actually have, which we're doing today. But we're going to do what we did when we did the Penang. And we're going to use uh, a Masterman paste that we've had in the fridge for a while. But these are actually better. And like I say, if you can't get these, there is a seller on, on Amazon that send, sells a 10 pack of these for about £13. So you get two of each, you get two of the red, two of the green, two of the yellow, two of the Massaman, and two of the Penang, which is an absolute bargain. So I'll try and find that and leave the link to that uh, in the description below. Other things that you, you're going to need uh, as part of this series are things like uh, fresh cafe lime leaves. Now, Tesco do them. They also do Thai uh, red and green chilies, uh, which you're going to need. We're going to be hopefully using, if we can find it, chowkoa, coconut milk, if not, ROD, or any other Thai coconut milk that comes in a carton, preferably. I know you can get ROD in tins, that's probably quite acceptable. Okay, so what else are we going to need? Well, for this particular dish, we are going to need tamarind paste or tamarind sauce. Now you can buy this in the UK, you can buy it in supermarkets, you can certainly buy it in Asian supermarkets and I would uh, imagine, as you will find out shortly, if you can get it on Amazon, palm sugar. If you can get a hold of palm sugar, get palm sugar. You can substitute it with like maybe a, a heat teaspoonful of uh, brown sugar. Palm sugar is not quite as sweet. Now, don't confuse palm sugar with palm oil. It comes from a completely different plant or tree. Palm sugar comes from a fruit that looks just like a coconut. But instead of inside the, the husk, instead of there being a coconut, there's like a fibrous, sweet interior. You can't actually eat it. It's, it's kind of like sugar cane. You can't actually eat it. But if you bite it and chew it, the sweet sweetness comes out of it. Anything else that, that's in this, hopefully I will have links uh, in the description below. Now, we're going to make we're going to be making this with chicken. The chicken is the main the main sort of meat in Massaman. Now, I said in the last video that you're going to need a sharp knife because all your meat is going to be cut paper thin, not in a Massaman. In a Massaman, you either want to use chicken thighs, uh, you can bone them or you can leave the bones in, or chicken legs left whole. Don't chop them up, just leave them whole because the whole idea with this curry is you get a, a whole leg or a whole thigh and then the sauces that go over it. Uh, it also contains onion, potatoes. So without further, further ado, I'm going to uh, let on crack on with cooking this. She's going to be cooking it. I am going to be voicing over. So if you enjoy this, if you make it and it turned out as you expected or as I expect it will do, give me a wee thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel, hit that like button. Okay guys, so let's crack on and I will talk to you a little bit at the end, okay? Cheers for now guys. Well, hello guys, okay, so we're going to run through the ingredients just quickly. So we have Massaman paste, raw or roasted peanuts, palm sugar or brown sugar, coconut milk, about 500 ml, chicken thighs or leg, bone on, fish sauce, one large potato, tamarind sauce, and one small or half a large onion. Boom, roasted. Okay, so the, the paste at the top left hand side is one that we are using. <clears throat> it's not really 
the, the Lobo one. So you want a packet of Lobo paste, a handful of peanuts roasted, one little puck of uh, palm sugar, three or four chicken thighs or chicken legs, your 500 ml coconut milk, a couple of tablespoons of fish sauce, about 150 ml of tamarind sauce and your onion and potato roughly chopped. Okay, so I'm being given instructions here that after she's used the initial uh, sort of half this coconut milk to go and add about another 100 ml of water to what's left so that we'll have a more sort of soupy, a massa man's more a soupy type curry. So what Ann's doing now is she's adding about half of that quantity, so that's about 250 ml of coconut milk to a, a hot wok on a medium to high heat. So that's going to be brought to the boil and we're going to be doing pretty much the same as what we did with the, the Penang and that's bringing this coconut milk to the boil and then adding the, the Massaman paste. Okay, it takes a couple of minutes here for this coconut milk just to come up to the boil. We're trying to do this sort of real time. There is going to be skips in the video, obviously, where the, the potatoes and the chicken need sort of like 20 minutes to cook, so we're, we're not going to stand and watch it for 20 minutes. But this part here, we're trying to go uh, real time. So I think at this point I'm away uh, putting another 100 to 150 ml of water in the remainder of that coconut milk. So how long do you cook the coconut milk for? Okay, so that's the, the coconut milk boiling now. Uh, so the Massaman paste is going to get added. Now you will see this Massaman paste is quite oily. The combination of this coconut milk and the Massaman paste is going to give you quite a, an oily residue on top. You do not want to get rid of that oily residue, you want to keep that. That's where all the flavour is. So this gets, uh, gets stirred in, dissolved and, uh, and brought up to the boil. That'll just take a couple of minutes now to come to the boil. Okay, so you'll see that's, uh, that's bubbling away nicely. And the next thing we're going to add is, uh, in our case, the palm sugar. Uh, if you're using... Uh, a heaped teaspoonful of soft brown sugar. It's not going to take quite as long as the palm sugar does to dissolve. But you just want to dissolve this palm sugar or your uh, your brown sugar into the, the Penang paste and the coconut milk mixture. You can see that the heat's not been turned down yet, so it's uh, it's just done continuously boiling. So this is uh, the tamarind sauce or the tamarind paste going in. If you're using a tamarind paste, you don't actually have to use as much as this. It's uh, more concentrated than a tamarind sauce. But that's probably about 100 ml of uh, tamarind sauce that we're using here. So the next thing to get added is a couple of tablespoons of fish sauce. 
and that just gets uh, stirred in and cooked. Now the fish sauce does all your uh, your flavour enhancing, so that's basically your your salt substitute. So there's no salt, and I don't think there's any uh, MSG goes in this. Yeah, all your your saltiness is coming from that fish sauce. So yeah, still bubbling away. Same heat under that. Okay, so at this point you're going to add your chicken thighs or chicken legs. Now, you can take the skin off, you can skin them if you want. Uh, here in Thailand they don't take anything off. They don't normally even uh, bone these, but on's taking the bones out of these thighs. So between the chicken and the potatoes, these are going to be the, the two longest ingredients uh, to cook. So on that note, the next things to get added are the, the potatoes. These are quite sort of like roughly chopped, they're quite big. If you chop them smaller, you can maybe reduce the cooking time to maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, in that case, it's probably the chicken you're waiting on uh, being ready as opposed to the potatoes. But in our case, it's the potatoes that we need to be ready. They'll be ready uh, long after the chicken. You'll see that it's, uh, it's quite oily on top. This is the, the combination of the oils that come out, the coconut milk and the Massaman paste. So you're going to add the, the rest of that coconut milk, which has had probably another 100 mils of, uh, of cold water added to it. And then you're just going to bring that up to a simmer. So that's probably been simmering away now for about 15, 15-ish minutes. And I think Orange just does a wee test on one of the potatoes uh, at some point here. So in go your roasted peanuts. You're not chopping the peanuts or, or bashing them up in any way, they're just whole roasted peanuts. And in goes your roughly chopped onion as well. And this is now basically just going to cook down until that onion softened. So about another, maybe five minutes. And that should take your to total cooking time up to about 20 minutes. And you'll see it's gone a, a deeper orange colour or a deeper yellowish orange colour. A Massaman and a yellow curry are quite similar. So dishing it up is done pretty much the traditional Thai way. You don't put everything on a plate, like your rice and then your, your curry and everything on top of it. They get dished up on separate dishes, so each portion is like a, a leg or a thigh, and then some potatoes, some of the sauce, some of the onion, some of the peanuts. And that will get served with a, a plate that will have a little dome of rice on it. So that's, uh, 
that's the curry. And as you'll see, it's uh, been served with our uh, rice berry mixed with the uh, Thai jasmine rice. And I have to say, it was absolutely gorgeous. So Ons just uh, just doing it the European way here and uh, and plating up a little bit rice, a chicken thigh, and then putting the sauce and that round it. Like I say, traditionally you would just uh, serve everybody a plate with the rice on it, and then the the curry would go in a big bowl in the centre of the table, and then you would just sort of help yourself. But you see, it's a very a very soupy type curry as well, which is what it's supposed to be like, as opposed to more the the Penang, which can be very, very dry. Yeah. Okay, guys, so that is uh, sort of made in, in pretty much real time. It does take a little bit longer to cook the chicken. The thing we're really waiting on cooking here is actually the potatoes. They're going to take probably about 15 to 20 minutes, to cook, depending on how, how small or how, how large you chop them. Once that 15 to 20 minutes is up, that's it done. The chicken's cooked and everything's, everything's cooked uh, in that time. So enjoy. Let me know what you thought of it uh, in the comments down below. And we will see you again very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching and we will catch you in the next one. Cheers for now, guys.